Hey there, it's Matt here, and today I'm going to show how to use SketchUp to model a latch, just like this one. So this came from a viewer request, can you please show how to model a latch? Uh, if you like that format of how to model a blank in SketchUp, uh, drop a like down below, hit the thumbs up button, and also let us know in the comments which other things you'd like to see uh, modeled. Uh, the comment didn't talk about any particular latch, but I chose this uh, one because every time I've been face to face with a latch like this, I have really appreciated the sturdiness, the security that that latch provides. And I thought, hey, let's honor it by showing how to model it step by step. So let's do it. OK, so, uh, you know, we have the kind of the base part here, this little uh, bolt and then we can you know move it along lock it up and uh you know make sure that thing's secure put that little um that little handle thing handle i don't know that little nub down to make sure it's locked in place um so to do this let's start a new file i'm gonna say thanks for your help teddy but i think we can get this on our own um start with the rectangle tool i'm gonna do a rectangle of three inches comma 1.5 inches Let's zoom in to get a better look at that here and then um, another one over here which is going to be one inch comma 1.5 okay um, now to get that um, sort of rounded edges here we're going to use the two point arc tool and i do have my key logger on so in the bottom corner it'll show all the uh, keyboard shortcuts that I use, but I'll go from the midpoint here and just drag along this edge till I get that tangent and then double click to cut that corner off. And then I'll just double click on the other um, corners that need to get rounded there. And then in order to get the holes in the right place, I'm going to use guide. So I'll use the tape measure tool and I'll pull one down a uh, quarter inch from this edge, quarter, and then this is half half and half. Um, then I'll use the circle tool from one of these intersection points and do a radius of 1 8 inch. Now I'm going to um, select that and use the move tool from that intersection point and then I'll use option, uh, the modifier key, I think it's alt on Windows, and then tap that two times. That turns it into the stamp, stamp mode, and then I can just click on each of these intersection points to get those um, those circles in exactly the right spot. I don't need those guides anymore, so I'll go delete guides, and then I can just delete these extra circles as well. I'll push pull this up 1 8 and same here, and then I'm going to make all of this a group. Okay, so we have uh, the bottom uh, thing here. Now let's get this rounded this rounded bit where that bolt goes through. So I'll come over to the side here and I'm gonna use the line tool, uh, draw in the blue vertical direction, uh, five sixteenths. Why? I don't know, that's what worked in practice. And then I'll just use inferencing to finish off that rectangle. I'm gonna do a circle from the very center of this. So I'll hover over this midpoint and then hold shift to lock in that green and then once I inference this other midpoint I can know I'm drawing exactly from the middle and I'm gonna do a radius of 1 8 again I'll offset this circle to the top of that and then I'll use that two-point arc tool again to get that tangent um, edge there to get that little curve that's on the the um, I don't know what you call that <laughs> the middle piece um, okay, so I'll erase that excess geometry I don't need, including that middle part. And then what I'm going to do is copy this piece using the move with that option um, modifier key. And push pull this across to the end of that. And this across to the end of this. And triple click to select all this geometry. And then hold shift and triple click on this to select that. Right click and make that a group. Um, now is here uh, where I'm going to be using solid tools. So first I'll go window entity info 
and also view tool palettes, solid tools. Uh, for the most part, I'm just gonna be using Outer Shell, which is available in every version of SketchUp, but I will also use uh, Subtract later, which is only part of um, any paid subscription. All paid versions of SketchUp have that. So I uh, just wanted to call that out. Uh, to use solid tools, you do need that uh, your your objects, your groups or components are solid and that'll show up in entity info. It means they're watertight and manifold, that there's no holes or excess geometry or anything. Both of these are solid. So I'll select them both and then hit outer shell. And then that, now I just have one continuous piece there. Um, okay, so I have that bottom part. I just need to kind of cut this section out for that little bolt to move up and down. So in order to get that in the right place, what I'm gonna do is, because I want it centered between these two holes here, I'll use the line tool, just draw a line straight across, and then use the rectangle with the option modifier to draw from the center. And on that midpoint, that way I know it's centered exactly between these two circles. I'll draw one that is one inch comma one quarter. Delete these extra lines and then I'll push pull this up. Doesn't exactly matter as long as it's higher than the, um, the top of this piece here. And then uh, to get that little cutout U shape, I'm going to use offsets. So I'll select this edge, this edge, and this edge. Offset a uh, quarter inch. And then I'll push pull this back. Uh, let's see. Maybe not quite halfway. Not quite to this midpoint here, but a little bit before. I think I can actually pull this out a little bit further too. Okay. Um, I will triple click to select all that connected geometry. Make that a group because I'm going to, like I said, use solid tools here. That is a solid group. Always good to double check. Um, and then I'm going to move this in the green direction. What I'm going to try to do is, let's see, line it up here. I'll move it vertically where it's not, you know, see, it's. I don't want it to trim this little bit here, but uh, just enough that it's sticking out. Okay, that looks good. So I have that selected. I'll use subtract from the solid tools, subtract it from that. And then here we have that little uh, opening there. Uh, okay, let's see. So that opening is about an eighth of an inch. Um, actually, just to give it a little extra room, let's see what it looks like with this bolt across. So it's still kind of securing that bolt in there, but it has a little more room to move back and forth. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, um, so we have most of this, let's get the, the bolt in there. So in order to get it centered in here, I'm just gonna draw a little sacrificial geometry, use the circle tool in the right uh, arrow key to make sure it's on the correct plane. I'll delete that and then offset this in just a little bit so it has enough play to move up and down that channel there. And then I'll push pull this to the end of that, uh, that big one, that big piece and make that piece of group. Okay, now for the little uh, handle doodad bit that locks in place there. I'll use, let's see. I just wanna make sure that that's gonna slide up and down easily through here, so. Okay. Um, so I'll do a circle with uh, radius 1 16th so that that's about an eighth of an inch, or exactly an eighth of an inch. And then pull that up a little bit. Okay, and then I'll use the modifier on push-pull, use an option again to create a new face. And I'll scale this, just wanna give it a little two, and then push that up again. Give you a nice big thing to hold on to there. Okay, and then I'll make all of this a group and then I'm gonna out, outer shell with this bolt. Uh, you can see my entity, in, in, entity info, pardon me, that the this is not a solid though, because when I did that push pull with the modifier right here, it created an extra face right in there. So I'll go ahead and delete that and then draw one of these lines in order to close that up. 
now this is a solid group and we can use the outer shell command on it. Um, so to move this so it's centered on this thing, I could try to grab that exact center, you know, um, intersection, that center uh, point on that circle, but I can't exactly see it. So I'll actually use option again. Uh, sorry, not option. Uh, command. I've been using option so much for uh, modifier keys that I want to use that one. But so here you can see I can snap exactly to the midpoint of that group. And so I'm going to do that in order well actually first let's move it from this midpoint centered here and then this midpoint along the green centered here okay um now i'm gonna move it up let's see yeah i just want to make sure that there's nothing popping out the bottom there and it looks like oh actually there is a little bit so i'll move it up a little bit more And that looks like there's enough room for that to move through, so that's good. Select those two pieces, outer shell. Okay, great. You, we're basically done. We have this piece, we can move it along, lock it in place. The kind of annoying part though comes in when you're rotating it into place because you might think you could use the move grips, you know, these little red grips on here, but I'm kind of breaking the laws of physics you know, morphing uh, solid through solid, that's not gonna work. I could use the rotate tool and kind of, you know, try to orbit to the right spot and try to find the center of that circle, but you can see it's kind of, it's not working exactly as I wanted. Uh, and this is where I'm gonna use snaps. So snaps uh, is basically, you can add a, a custom control point to your group or component. So to do that, I'll enter the group. I'm actually just gonna hide rest of model so I can see what I'm doing here and then I'll right click and say add snaps you can see my cursor turns into that snaps uh, icon there so I'll inference the side of that circle so I can get the center make sure it's in the right plane and then you can add a custom rotation to snap so then if it snaps to another piece it'll rotate to a certain angle I don't need that here so I'll just get that out and then now when I select that piece and use either the move tool, you can see I can uh, hold that group. I can, you know, there's control points at the corners of that group, but then also at that exact snap point as well. It shows up as this kind of blue with a blue little lighter circle in, uh, in the middle. So um, in order to rotate in, into place and make sure we're locked and secure, um, I'm gonna use rotate and then see when I snap to that snap, it goes exactly to the point, and then I can say, ah, I feel so much safer now. Oh, I kind of overdid it. <laughs> uh, here we go. Lock that right into place. Nice, I feel secure. So if you liked that video, um, hit the thumbs up down below. Would you have done it any other way? Let me know in the comments for sure. Uh, there's so many different ways to do stuff in SketchUp. so. Um, I'm always down to hear more. But if you have other ideas of things you'd like to see modeled, uh, let us know for sure. And hey, thanks for watching. Have a good one.